If I can press the right button to start the fucking recording. Let's try this again. Custom duel. <laughs> Last one went horrible for me. Picking Aries. Worst idea I could ever have. Over here. I, I, I've been one to try this Warlock's Rush on, on the matchups. You know, kind of like this. Just hoping for the best, really. So yeah, I've done this matchup before and lost it horribly. Have to be real careful here with our positioning. I don't want to get flinged to the tower. It'd be a really, really bad look for me. But hopefully I can win this matchup this time. Last time I did this matchup was probably when I was doing Guardian Only Duel. And that was fucking like last year, so. Demand two Kepri's fight to the death. No, because that, that, that would just like last forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like people always say like do like Kepri games or whatever. They just, they just never end well. They just last for fucking ever. And it's like 20 minutes of just like crab clawing at each other. He's using a lot of mana. I am too. I'm using a little bit too much mana. But I want this Warlock for the late game. I'm like just looking at the late game here. Yeah, he has. That's the thing when you go warlock, sash star. You just you don't you don't have dick all for pots, and so there's no way you're going warlocks and getting red buff in a case like this. It's just fucking not, dude. But at least being Xing Chen in that area is, I think I can get like an actual buff. You got time? No, Kepri versus Kepri is boring. People don't really know what they ask for until it happens, and you're like, well, this is not really... And then it's like, whoever gets first blood in that match kind of just auto-wins. I was hoping to sidestep that. Oh, dude. I thought it, it really... Ugh, fuck me, dude. It really looked like he was coming back in. I really thought he was going to come back in and try to, like, fucking do something to kill me. <sighs> Feels bad, man. A shame, because I, I like going for that kind of play where it looks like I'm being chased and about to be the victim, and they just keep chasing me, and then I quick turn around ult and scoot them into the tower, and I catch them off guard with that. But it just failed horribly. It's okay, though. Can't believe that I actually reached him. Fucking miracle, man. I do need to get this timer, however. Get, uh, get that. Two on boots. Just so I can chase a little bit. He keeps going to this, like, pin rush. Which is good for like the early and mid. I'm, I'm building late, he's building like fucking now. <laughs> Which, he's gonna have a lot more killing potential. Jesus Christ, popped out of nowhere. He's gonna have like way more killing potential than, than me. At least I have poke. That's the one thing I got. I got long range poke. It's gonna really utilize that. I don't know why I keep rubbing my chance to fucking have it. Alright, um. Uh, fuck, I'll, I'll get mana chalice. So I'm, I'm going to be going through a lot of mana. Not so much HP, because I have HP 5 passive, but... Let's just go, go ahead and see what happens.
problem is here, he can just ult my ult. Whereas I can't say the same. Oh, fuck me, dude. He's gonna end up getting the red buff again because he can heal himself. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't really do anything about this. I, like I, I took a risk there because I didn't want to like just walk away and just lose red. I'm like, I, let's just make a fight happen. And nope, 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 nope. I'm just gonna chill here and get CDR boots. I was gonna F6, but I'll, I'll give it another shot. I was really hoping you take a little bit more damage from the tower. I don't know why I always think that it's wrong. So in this matchup where you're never gonna be able to ult your opponent as Xing Chen, it's just not even worth putting points into it. I don't see him using I don't see him like me baiting his ult out so I can ult him ever, so we're just gonna not put points into it. He's, he also has like all the pins, so he's basically like doing true damage to me right now. Okay. Aw, oh, dude, I was hoping to like hard juke that, and I can't. That's. <laughs> That, that's exactly why this is a Sobek uh, winning matchup, is uh, because of that. Because he can cancel my 3 and my 2. He has 1 HP, are you fucking serious? He can just cancel my shit. <laughs> it's left and right. Alright, let's uh, get a Genji's guard. I give this like a couple more kills. If I end up going like 0 and 4, I'm just gonna have 6. There's no way I'm gonna win at that point. Jeez, he's doing like way more damage than me. Damn, I was hoping to like make him um, try to dash me and I sidestep it and he just goes into the tower. Thank fucking fuckface. Only reason why I got that because I don't know why he decided just to just fucking stay and chill. I didn't do anything good there or special there, he just like stayed away too fucking long. <laughs> I, I felt like he almost just gave me that kill for free. He felt bad for me. I don't know, let's just fucking just roll with it. <laughs> just roll, let's get to fucking Genji's guard. Gotta get our pin. I guess I can just get Sprint, because he has Horrific and his ult, so I can just try to Sprint out. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, so our build is only just going to get a lot better from here. Like, it's, it, things are going to feel a lot better the longer this goes with our build. I mean, the Warlock Sash is going to basically allow us to absorb, like, two of his abilities. And then we can get Pen pretty easily. Divine Ruin, Spear of Magus, a lot of flat pin. I don't know, I might do Obshard instead of Spear of Magus for the sole reason of uh, not worrying about build up time. Also, he does have 
extra protection due to his passive. His passive is extremely easy to to stack up these days. Yeah, I just I do no damage in comparison to him. Like my three does no damage and my two does no damage. The two doesn't do any damage even have points in it. So really just have one good damaging ability. Now we're playing the chase game. Waiting for his <laughs> abilities to come up. That's where Sobek has a lot of success in this matchup. He does all three, all of his abilities do more damage to Jingchen. He can cancel my channel. He can CC me my ult. Right, we need to back before rebuff comes up. But if I could win this matchup, I'd feel pretty good. Let's just do... Let's just do Obshard first. And then Divine. And then from there, I don't know. I really don't. Maybe I could just go like a poly, I guess. Help out my damage output a lot. Guess we have like easier and safer clear, I guess. Damn, I tried casting my three like 49 fucking times there. Damn, that knockup damage just didn't even work there. Feels bad. I mean, it's cool CC meaning that, but. Oh well. I don't know why he perfect me. It's not gonna do anything. I guess he's just trying to poke me out so he can get the red. Oh. <laughs> the fuck are you cooldowns? I don't know, it feels like I have long cooldowns and you have short cooldowns, huh? <laughs> feels like the other way around, man. There we go. But Genji's is amazing, though. I mean, that's the difference between me and him right now, is he has all this pen and power, but he had no CDR until literally just now. So for him, it feels like I have my cooldowns all the time. I guess that's how it always feels like in Smite. It always feels like your opponent has like better minions, better towers, better phoenix. Uh, fucking better cooldowns and, you know, whatever. Oh. Uh, the hell is that lag, dude? I didn't even drop bitrate or anything. What the fuck? That was just weird. There we go. Wish I had blink, dude. Nice. Alright, we're coming back. Like I said, this build, we're just gonna get much better as this goes on with this Warlock Sash. So we're gonna have more health than he does. We're gonna be just tankier than him. We have more CDR than he does. His build was just like an early mid thing with rushing so much just like flat pin and early prots, uh, prot shred or whatever. Okay, let's just go. Now we're gonna get this divine rooming that shut his healing down. I also need to upgrade my Sunder, but I've been lazy. I'll clear wave and go back and pick it up. I'm probably not gonna get the new, the next red buff. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this thing gives me like 500 HP, this Warlock, because another 150 from Genji's. It's pretty damn good. his abilities first. <laughs> the bait. <laughs> we still got it. We still got the baits, dude. I mean, it wasn't... Let's just do tier 2 Sunder now, so I don't forget. I know it's on cooldown, yada yada, whatever. But, I just don't want to forget about it. I mean, I don't think the Sunder even did too much damage because it's uh, current HP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but still. I felt good. We need to just get this down so you can't do it. What I could do, actually, is go a Chronos Pendant and switch out CDR Bitch for Pin Boots. Or just go Poly. Nice, I still hit him. Yeah, because I want to have lower cooldowns. And he does. Oh. It's a little bit awkward. See, now him getting this cooldown reduction is helping him a lot. to use when how an HP I guess they can still surprise me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go for this Chronos Pendant. And switch out the boots. So that way I have like 25 flat pin and knob shard. I don't know how well that all works with each other, but he's a, he's a tanky guy and we're gonna just rip right through it. I mean Void Stone is still, you know, defense item does have 60 prod. I wouldn't be too surprised if he goes double. Double pry if he picks up a Genji's. I just want to out CDR him. So that way I can actually use my ultimate. Because that, that's what we were getting in the beginning. Was that like, I had my ult up more often than he did. So I was actually scooping him up. Even though I said I would never be able to because of his ultimate. CC immunity. Which now that applies at this point in the game. So it looks like he might be going uh, shamans. Literally all of his abilities just like fucking cancel my two. Like I was just actually trying to sit there and like wait out his shit but like he just <laughs> He just kept having more things up to cancel my two. What a Kana, dude. I haven't seen you in fucking years. I gotta hurry up. I don't want to lose my uh, any part of my tower. This tower is keeping me in the game right now. But at least with Sunder, I mean, we don't always have to use it when he's high on HP. I, I wanted the, that tier 2 for increased damage. That's what I really wanted. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So this is what I hate about this matchup, dude. Trying to get any of my abilities off on, on the Sobek is just utterly ball busting. Just utterly ball busting. All right, we can now like HP five this guy here. I 
I don't know. I don't want to have to give up the red buff. But I also don't want to die. So I die here, you know, I lose my fucking tower, this red buff, whatever. Alright, he's just gonna out heal me. There's just no if and a bunch about it. He, we just gotta give him red buff, he's just gonna out heal me. I don't have- if I had like 100 HP 5, the max, then maybe, but... <laughs> with half of that, it ain't gonna happen. Maybe I can scare him to do something. How fast it oh. I'm always fighting fucking race cars, dude, I swear to god. It felt like sprint literally gave me zero movement speed increase. It just did. The nerf sprint? Like <laughs> He had tier two shamans, which is like what, five percent movement speed? And it just felt like it was... whatever. Whatever, man. I guess I was just that too fucking far away from him. <laughs> Alright, let's get this Cronus Pendant. Oh, Chalice, this shit. We gotta switch our boots. Surprised he's not trying to go for my blue. Oh, nice. Thank the fucking cucks of the universe. <laughs> oh, dude, that was difficult, man. We did it. We actually won that matchup. Like, to literally use my two or three in that matchup, I have to wait for him to use all of his abilities. No, all because of his two. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to go for there. I've been trying to CC immune the knockup and then catch him with the ultimate. I did it a few times as a match, but it's fucking difficult. It takes precise timing and cooldown reduction. The ult is so back. Especially like if he had beads, like if he, I don't know what the horrific's about, but if he got rid of the horrific and had beads, I would like never ult him. Because between his beads and his ult, it's like, fuck. And then he has he has the free will to use his abilities first. So if I try casting my abilities while he's doing his shit, he's just going to beat me. Because he can tell swipe my channel, like half my kit. And he can pluck me out of half my kit. So, uh, yeah, but we, we did it. <laughs> it's, that was difficult, but good game, man.